Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Solution and Discussion on Engineering Service Examination in, in Thermodynamics. In this lecture, we will be discussing few questions with answers in Second Law of Thermodynamics and its applications. First question. A reversed Carnot engine is used for heating a building. It supplies 210 in 10 power 3 kilojoules per hour of heat to the building at 20 degree Celsius. The outside air is at minus 5 degree Celsius. The heat taken from the outside will be nearly 192 megajoules per hour, 188 megajoules per hour, 184 megajoules per hour and 180 megajoules per hour. The answer to the question so, heat supplied Q1 equal to 210 megajoules per hour. Temperature of the cycle T1 equal to 20 degree Celsius, which is 293 Kelvin. T2 equal to minus 5 degree Celsius, which is 268 Kelvin. The heat taken from outside Q2 equal to T2 into Q1 by T1, which is 268 into 210 by 293 equal to 192 megajoules per hour. So, the answer is 192 megajoules per hour. The next question, a cyclic heat engine operates between a source temperature of 800 degree Celsius and a sink temperature of 30 degree Celsius. The least heat of rejection per kilowatt net work output of the engine will be nearly 0 0.2 kilowatts, 0 0.4 kilowatts, 0 0.6 kilowatts and 0 0.8 kilowatts. The answer to the question, the efficiency of the heat engine eta equal to 1 minus U2 by T1 which is 1 minus 303 divided by 1073 equal to 0 0.72. The heat supplied to the heat engine Q1 equal to W work done divided by eta which is 1 divided by 0 0.72 equal to 1.39 kilowatts and the heat rejected Q2 equal to Q1 minus W so 1.39 minus 1 equal to 0 0.39 kilowatts. The answer is 0 0.4 kilowatts. Next question. Two identical finite bodies at constant heat capacity at a temperature T1 and T2 are available to do work in a heat engine. The final temperature Tf reached by the bodies on the delivery of maximum work. We have four answers. The T1 is the initial temperature of the uh, cycle and T3, T2 is the final temperature. So, Tf, the final temperature reached by the body is T1 plus T2 divided by 2 and Tf equal to square root of T1 T2 and Tf equal to T1 minus T2 and Tf equal to square root of T1 square plus T2 square. The correct answer is the final temperature is square root of T1 and T2. So, you may refer to the theory uh, video lecture for the proof of this equation. The next question, an inventor claims to have developed a refrigeration unit which maintains minus 10 degree Celsius in the refrigerator which is kept in a room where the surrounding temperature is 25 degree Celsius and which has a COP of 8.5. His claim is valid, marginally correct, invalid, none of the above. The claim is invalid, so we will see how in the next slide. The answer to the question, an actual COP is 8.5. Minimum temperature of the refrigerator minus 10 degree Celsius, 263 Kelvin. Maximum temperature of the refrigerator T1 equal to 25 degree Celsius, which is 298 Kelvin. Carnot COP of the refrigerator, COP equal to T2 by T1 minus T2, which is 263 divided by 298 minus 263 equal to 7.5. So, this is the Carnot COP. The actual COP is 8.5. So, the actual COP is more than Carnot COP. The claim is not valid. So, Carnot COP will be the highest value. So, actual COP here is higher than the Carnot COP. So, the claim is not correct. Next question, an air conditioning system operating on a reversed Carnot cycle is required to remove heat from the room at, the, at a rate of 25 kilowatt to maintain its temperature constant at 20 degree Celsius. The temperature of the surrounding being 35 degree Celsius, the power required to operate the air conditioning unit, air conditioning system will be 1.28 kilowatt, 5.02 kilowatt, 5.12 kilowatt, 12.80 kilowatt. 
the answer is 1.2 kilowatt you will see how in the next slide the answer to the question the minimum temperature of the refrigerator t2 equal to 20 degrees celsius which is 293 kelvin the maximum temperature of the refrigerator t1 equal to 35 degrees celsius which is 308 kelvin carnot cop of the refrigerator so cop equal to t2 by t1 minus t2 equal to 293 divided by 308 minus 293 equal to 19.53 the power required to operate the air conditioning system w equal to q by cop heat rejected divided by cop equal to 25 divided by 19.53 equal to 1.28 kilowatt that is the answer to the question the next question the cop of an ideal refrigerator is n if the machine is operated as a heat pump between the same temperature limit its cop will be n minus 1 n n plus 1 2 n the answer is n plus 1 we will see how in the next slide t1 is the minimum maximum temperature t2 is the minimum temperature cop of the refrigerator n equal to t2 by t1 minus t2 cop of the heat pump equal to t1 divided by t1 minus t2 so in the numerator we modify subtract t2 and add t2 so now we rearrange t1 minus t2 divided by t1 minus t2 plus t2 by t1 minus t2 so the first part is 1 the second part is the cop of the refrigerator n so cop of the heat pump is equal to 1 plus n or n plus 1 Next question, an ideal refrigerator based on the reversed Carnot's cycle works between minus 23 degrees Celsius and 27 degrees Celsius. What will be the required power in kilowatt if a cooling rate of 1.5 kilowatt is desired? The answer is 0 0.3 kilowatt. There are four options given, 0 0.25 kilowatt, 0 0.35 kilowatts, 3.25 kilowatts and 7.5 kilowatts. The answer is 0 0.3 kilowatts. We will see how in the next slide. The minimum temperature T2 equal to minus 23 degrees Celsius which is 250 Kelvin. The maximum temperature T1 equal to 27 degrees Celsius which is 300 Kelvin. Cooling rate Q2 equal to 1.5 kilowatt. The Carnot COP of the refrigerator COP equal to T2 by T1 minus T2. So 250 divided by 300 minus 250 equal to 5. Power required for the refrigerator COP equal to Q2 by W which is equal to 5. So W, the power required equal to Q2 by 5. So 1.5 divided by 5 equal to 0 0.3 kilowatt. That is the answer to the question. Next question, a refrigerator that operates on a Carnot cycle is required to transfer 2000 kilojoules per minute to the atmosphere at 27 degrees Celsius, where the low temperature reservoir is at 0 degrees Celsius. What is the power required? 200 watts, 32.93 watts, 200 kilowatts, 3.33 kilowatts. The answer is 3.33 kilowatts. So we'll see how in the next slide. Heat transfer Q equal to 2000 kilojoules per minute, which is 33.33 kilojoules per second. Atmospheric temperature 27 degrees Celsius, 300 Kelvin. Low temperature reservoir 0 degrees Celsius, 273 Kelvin. The COP of the refrigerator, COP equal to T2 by T1 minus T2, 273 divided by 300 minus 273 equal to 10.11. The power required for the refrigerator W equal to Q by COP. So 33.33 divided by 10.11 equal to 3.3 kilowatts. That is the answer to the question. Next question, a refrigeration plant is designed to work between minus 3 degrees Celsius and 27 degrees Celsius. The plant works on the Carnot cycle. If the same plant is used as a heat pump system, then the COP of the heat pump becomes 10, 9, 8, 7. So the answer to the question temperature limit of the Carnot cycle T1 equal to 27 degrees Celsius which is 300 Kelvin T2 equal to minus 3 degrees Celsius 270 Kelvin COP of the heat pump T1 divided by T1 minus T2 300 divided by 300 minus 270 equal to 10 the answer is 10 to the question next question a domestic food freezer maintains a temperature of minus 50 degrees Celsius the ambient air temperature is 30 degrees Celsius if the heat leak leaks into the freezer continuously at the rate of 1.75 kJ per second, the least power necessary to pump this heat out continuously will be nearly, there are four options, 0.1 kW, 0.2 kW, 0.3 kW and 0.4 kW. We solve the question, the answer is T1 equal to 30 degrees Celsius, 303 Kelvin, T2 equal to minus 15 degrees Celsius, 258 Kelvin. 
COP of the freezer, COP equal to T2 by T1 minus T2, which is 258 divided by 303 minus 258 equal to 5.73. The power input P equal to Q divided by COP, so 1.75 divided by 5.73 equal to 0 0.305 kilowatts. So, the nearest answer is 0 0.3 kilowatts. Next question, a refrigerator operates on reversed Carnot cycle. What is the power required to drive the refrigerator between the temperature of 42 degrees Celsius and 4 degrees Celsius? If the heat at the rate of 2 kJ per second is extracted from low temperature region. So, the answer to the question, COP of the refrigerator COP equal to T2 by T1 minus T2, which is 277 minus 315 minus, sorry, 277 divided by 315 minus 277 equal to 7.289. The power of the refrigerant W equal to Q by COP, which is 2 divided by 7.289 equal to 0 0.274 kilowatt. The answer is 0 0.274 kilowatts. The next question, a Carnot heat pump works between 27 degrees Celsius and 327 degrees Celsius. What will be its COP? So, the answers are 0 0.9, 1.0, 1.09, 2.0. .1 the answer to the question. The minimum temperature T2 equal to 27 degrees Celsius, which is 300 Kelvin. Maximum temperature of the heat pump T1 equal to 327 degrees Celsius, which is 600 Kelvin. Carnot COP of the heat pump COP equal to T1 divided by T1 minus T2, 600 divided by 600 minus 300 equal to 2. The answer is 2. The next question, the coefficient of performance of a heat pump working on reversed Carnot cycle is 6. If this machine works as a refrigerator, with the work input of 10 kilowatt, the refrigeration effect will be 35 kilowatt, 40 kilowatt, 45 kilowatt, 50 kilowatt. The answer to the question, COP of the heat pump equal to 6, work input W equal to 10 kilowatt, COP of the refrigerator equal to COP of the heat pump minus 1, so 6 minus 1 equal to 5. The refrigeration effect Q equal to COP into W, so 5 into 10 equal to 50 kilowatt. The answer is 50 kilowatt. We stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject. I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You can subscribe the channel, use the video lectures for your better preparation. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. So, you can contact me for any clarification on the subject. So, we will meet again with another uh, video lecture on engineering service examination preliminary questions. Until then, bye.